Hi, I'm Robert, and today I'm going to show you how I take this image of downtown LA from here to here, all in Lightroom. In this video, I'll be using the HSL panel to brighten and darken certain colors, as well as adjust the shade of other colors. Let's get started at the bottom like we usually do. Make sure we're on the current version. We're not going to add a vignette in this image. Let's click on Constrain Crop. I'm going to attempt to fix the vertical lines in this image. If we want to completely fix the vertical lines, we're going to lose the top of this building, which I don't like. So we're going to bring it back down. Now we have some sky above this building. The buildings are slightly more upright now. Not perfect, but improved. I didn't leave enough room at the top to fix the verticals in this image. I returned to the spot at a later date to try again. Let's scroll up. We'll click on remove chromatic aberrations and enable profile corrections. Let's go up to sharpening. Usually I sharpen up to 100. We'll go with a little bit less sharpening in this image because we have a lot of grain. This was shot on an older camera, a Canon 40D. Today we'll just use 70 of sharpening. We'll hold down Alt and apply a mask. We wanna mask off the sky so we don't sharpen it. We're gonna return to the HSL panel later, but let's move on up. Let's open up the dynamic range of this image. We're gonna bring the highlights down and the shadows up. This image looks a little bit dark, so let's adjust the exposure as well as the white point. I bring the white point up until we start to clip and then back it down. There's no need to adjust the black slider as we're already slightly clipping. Now let's go down to our HSL panel. This panel lets us adjust three things, luminance, saturation, and hue. I usually start with luminance. Luminance is how bright or how dark a color is. The sky looks a little dark to me, so let's brighten it up. We'll go to blue and we'll slide up into the positive area. So we added plus 40 to the blue luminance and now our blue in the sky is brighter. I wanna bring back some of that blue color. So let's go to saturation, click on blue and let's scroll up on our blue saturation. So now we have a nice vibrant blue sky that's brighter. The third step is to go to hue and we can adjust the shade of the blue. It's slightly purple, so let's bring it down. Now we have a more blue color sky. If we brought the slider the other way, we have a purple sky. If we brought it all the way down, we're gonna have a green teal sky. So let's just adjust it slightly. I don't use the hue slider very often. I only use it when I notice that a color is slightly shifted one way or the other. Now let's go back to luminance and work on a few other colors. I like the contrast between the blue and the orange down here. So let's bring up this orange and yellow. We're going to use the same trick with the orange and yellow as we did with the sky. We're going to bring them up to make them brighter. And then we're going to go to saturation and add more saturation to make them more vibrant. So now our freeway section is brighter and more vibrant. Let's go to the hue section. I'm going to adjust the orange slider and make it a little more red. We have red in here from the brake lights and I want to accentuate that. It's a subtle change to the orange, but now slightly more red showing off the red brake lights. The last thing I want to do is to bring up the color in these trees here. We have a little bit of green. So let's go to luminance and let's brighten this up. So we're going to bring it up all the way. And now we have a little bit more brightness in this dark area where the trees are at. Let me show you a before and after using the HSL panel. Here's where we were before we started. And here's the after with all of our work in the HSL panel. Working in the HSL panel is usually my final step of the image. I adjust all of the colors after I get my base edit finished. To wrap this image up, let's just double check to make sure we have a clean sky. You can see a little bit of dust in the sky, so let's clean it up. That's better. 
if you don't see this overlay, make sure that visualize spots is turned on. If you don't have this toolbar, just press T for toolbar and it'll appear. Let's close our spot removal tool. Planning for this kind of image is very important. If you want a vibrant and blue sky, you need to go during blue hour, which happens just after sunset or just before sunrise. There's usually a very narrow window of time when the sky looks the best. Show up early, set up your composition and wait. Every few minutes throughout the blue hour, I'll take another image. Then when I get home, I can select the best one. It's a bit limiting since I only shoot one composition during a blue hour shoot. I show up early so I can perfect my composition since I will not be moving it throughout the entire blue hour. On your next image, try out using the HSL panel. It's a lot of fun. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks.